you're in high school, every student, teacher, and basically everyone you know has an opinion of the path you should take in life, even if those paths lead you off a cliff. Up until we're 18, our entire lives are built around school. If you add up the seven days a week by the 180 days a year and the nine years over the course of kindergarten through 12th grade, that would equal 11,340 hours we're spending in school outside of the homework and commuting back and forth. All of that time is supposed to be preparing you for the field of work you'll go into, even though most of us don't know what we wanna do. Even worse is I was reading this article and it said that only 22% of Americans use maths like algebra through calculus at work every day. That means that 78% of us are learning things we'll never use. It doesn't make any sense. Why aren't we spending more time on the things that will actually relate to our industry we go in or even just figuring it out? If you didn't realize it yet, the system's flawed. Society won't tell you high school's pointless, but by the time you finish middle school, you've learned to read, write, and do basic math. And everything after that is pointless. I mean, they drill into your head to sit quietly, raise your hand to go to the bathroom, and believe everything the teacher says, even if it's just their own beliefs. Even worse is they never teach you how to file taxes, how to save, budget, get a mortgage, or get better credit. You never hear about the Walt Disney's, the Billy Joel's, the Richard Branson's, the Quentin Tarantino's who never graduated high school and are very famous wealthy entrepreneurs or the Bill Gates, the Elon Musk's and the Mark Zuckerberg's who never graduated college and are yet millionaires. It, there's no need even to have a college degree yeah, okay. at all uh, or even high school. And don't get me started on the BS of high school drama. I don't care what brand name clothes you wore, who slept with who while they were dating someone else, or how popular you thought you were. Because at the end of the day, once you're out of school, your social status is zero, and you're in a big scary world. I spent most of my time wishing I could get out of there, and wish I could just do more with my life. But I thought I needed my high school diploma, so I kept my head down, played as many sports as I could, tried not to sleep through classes, and tried not to get in fights. I'm going to try and not be a bitch right now, but some of the worst days of my life were spent in high school. It's probably because I was doing something I didn't want to do with people I didn't want to be around on repeat. Can you guys relate? I think that everybody has a breaking point and I definitely reached mine at the beginning of my 11th grade year. I just decided I needed to get out of school. I needed to do something more with my life. So I did talk to my counselor and asked her how I could graduate early. At the end of the conversation, she explained that even if I did summer school and did extra classes, I still wouldn't be able to graduate my senior year. After I heard that from her, I took it word for word and I felt like I was out of options and boxed in. But how can you blame us when we've let teachers make decisions for us our entire life without ever questioning if it's the right decision or the wrong decision? About a month later, my twin brother was told that he wouldn't be allowed to play sports anymore due to his grades, even though the only reason he was going to school was to play sports. He might not be good at school, but if he wants to practice and become the next Michael Jordan and make $1.5 billion, I guess you can't do that through school because you don't check the right boxes that the school system wants you to do. My parents encouraged him to drop out and pursue something that actually had meaning to him and he decided he wanted to be a heavy equipment operator. That was the first time we'd ever heard of the GED and how it could take the place of a high school diploma. The definition of GED, a general education development referring to a system of standardized examinations which entitle those who pass them to receive a credential considered as equivalent to completion of high school. I couldn't believe I didn't know this. That meant I could drop out of high school, get my GED, and go to college when I was supposed to be doing my senior year in high school. It was a black and white decision, so at age 17, I dropped out. Some of the things my brother and I remember from when we dropped out were how students and friends alike started treating us, telling us that we're stupid for not being able to walk and get our diploma. I remember how parents started treating us and asking us why we were dropping out. And when my brother told him he wanted to get a better job and I told him I wanted to go to college, they just act sad and tell us how sorry they were. Like we just told them that we had terminal cancer or something. One time I was at a home soccer game and one of the girls I played soccer with, her father came up to me and told me how sorry he was that I was gonna grow up too fast and that I wasn't gonna finish my high school diploma. I remember another time when my friend told me that the teacher at school had, was lecturing the class and told them not to be like the Starbuck brothers and be dropouts. We prepped, passed our exams, and got awarded our GEDs. I went to college at 17 and my brother got a CDL and started driving heavy equipment. He makes tons of money today and I'm a licensed paramedic with my associate's degree. And I can honestly say that dropping out was one of the best decisions we ever made. Just last week, I asked my dad why he encouraged us to drop out 
And he told me that when we first started school in like seventh grade, we'd go to school in the mornings, Monday through Friday. And when we got home, we just weren't our happy selves. We'd go into some type of shell. And then on Saturday, Sunday, we'd start to come out and begin to be the kids that he'd raised a lot happier. And then again, Monday would roll around. And once we dropped out, we opened up out of that shell and we never went back. All in all, what I learned most from this experience is that the best rules of our society were created by people like you and me. The rest were created by morons. So if you're trying to make meaningful improvements in your life, don't listen to everything you're told. Seek out your path, even if it's hidden. And regardless of what your friends, teachers, and the rest of the society are saying, the only thing that limits you from success is your decision to be successful.